Algebra 1, number 5.5a, we're talking about polynomials in this unit. We're going to identify the terms, factors, and coefficients of polynomials. My advice is to get some note paper because you might want to write down some of these terms. We have the prefix, the meanings, the words, and some examples here. We've talked about monomials. Mono is a prefix meaning one, so a monomial has one term. Bi is a prefix meaning two, so a binomial has two terms. See how it's separated by a plus or a minus? Tri is a prefix meaning three, so a trinomial has three terms. And poly means many. So polynomials are all of these. They're all monomials, binomials, trinomials. So each term is separated by an operation sign, a plus or a minus. And it's not a multiplication sign. So this 2x together is one term. So it's got nothing to do with multiplication. It's just separated by the addition or subtraction sign, okay? A monomial is a one-term polynomial. And if the monomial is a numeral, a number by itself, we call it a constant. So a negative 5 by itself, or a 3 by itself, or a 12 by itself. There's no variables. There's no exponents. There's no plus or minus sign to add it to another term. It's just one term, one number by itself. Then it's a constant. So these are monomials. 4x to the third power is a monomial, and negative half xy is a monomial. They're just one term. But here's monomial constants. See how they're just a number? Now, a coefficient, that's a number that's usually found in front of a variable. And we've talked about this in seventh and eighth grade. But in a polynomial, it could also be a coefficient if it's just a number. So we've got 4x to the second power, and we've got negative x to the second power, and we've got x to the second power. Well, when there's no number in front of the variable, we know there's an invisible one there. That's our identity property. And if we needed to combine these, this would be negative x squared plus x squared. They would create, these two would create a zero pair, wouldn't they? And they'd cancel each other out. They'd be eliminated. And a fraction can be a coefficient in front of a variable. See? And it also can be a coefficient if it's by itself in a polynomial. So whether it's a fraction or an improper fraction, it can be a coefficient, okay? So let's take a look at these. These are the coefficients of a polynomial. The 4 in front of the 8 to the third power, this 3, and that 3 is even a coefficient because it's in a polynomial. And this 2 is a coefficient. And in front of this plus x squared, there's an invisible 1 coefficient. And this 7 is a coefficient. This is not a polynomial. This is just an addition sentence. See? When a numeral is alone as a term of a polynomial, it's still considered to be a coefficient. Okay? If it's a monomial, then it's a constant. But in a polynomial, it's considered a coefficient. So each term contains any combination of coefficients which are negative or positive, variables that are negative or positive, but exponents have to be positive, okay? Because remember, a negative exponent is a fraction, okay? And we'll get into this a little bit more, but for right now, I just want you to be able to identify the coefficients of a polynomial, okay? It's all these big whole looking numbers, see? So a polynomial in one variable, sorry about my sunshine, it's a really beautiful day outside. A polynomial in one variable has one variable, see, x. It's the same variable x. It's in a couple different terms, that's okay, but it's only got one variable x. A polynomial in two variables can have an x and a y, or an a and a b, or a p and a q, two different variables. A polynomial in three variables is going to have three different types of variables, like x, y, z, a, b, c, j, k, l, three different variables. Now, don't accidentally confuse a term with a factor, okay? This negative 5x to the third power is one term. This negative 5 is a factor to the x to the third power, but together it's a term, okay? So that's why I said multiplication doesn't count, because this is negative 5 times this x to the third power, isn't it? So all together, it's one term. It's going to be separated by a plus or a minus sign. So this is a trinomial. we got a term here, a term here, and a term here. See? 
All right, so we know trinomials have three terms. We know binomials have two terms. Monomials have one term, and they're all polynomials, okay? And they're all separated by a plus or a minus sign. All right, we're going to talk about combining like terms in the next video, 5.5b. I hope this was helpful. I hope you're doing okay on this beautiful day. Bye.